the end of the world. There's not much left to do but to wait it out in my underground bunker here and pass on the feedback from Peggy Braun and the scores for our most recent, possibly last, digital competition. Good luck, everybody. Roses, 21 points. The front blur is nicely done, but it kind of blends in with the rose that's behind it. And also the red that's in the upper left corner can be a little distracting. In a shot like this, it can be improved just to move the camera an inch or two to the left or right or up or down to get the distractions out of view. By the lake, 25 points. It's a lovely use of soft focus, but the picture is overly dark. That causes it to lose impact. Next is Schultze, 22 points. The horse is a little too undefined. Uh, it's a little confusing exactly where the placement of the head is. It had very nice leading lines into the background. Hudson Athens Lighthouse, 21 points. It was hard to tell what the light lines were, and the lines weren't interesting enough by themselves without something else to draw the viewer's attention. Very nice softness of the background. Fall Blur, 26 points, first in advance, Lynn O'Connell. Very nice tree blurs, using the darker trunks and the colors of the leaves. Might saturate it a little bit more. It's hard to avoid the white skies. You might want to add a texture to make the sky more interesting. Thin in the air, 10 points. It's a nice capture of the animal in um, frozen in the air, but it's a little too sharp to qualify as a blur. Fast feet, 26 points. Third and regular, Donna Hitchcock. This is blurred just enough with the legs and the ball to qualify. It's an excellent picture and a great moment. Adams Agricultural Fair, 15 points. Feels more out of focus than intentionally blurred. It would help for the background to be a little more blurred so the subject would stand out. Static and mobile, 25 points. Tied for second in advance, David Simmons. Successfully sharp and blurred. Egret, 25 points. Very ethereal, with especially with the white lights on both of the sides, adding to the feeling. A beautiful sight. 25 points. Nice job capturing the blur of the hummingbird wings and for choosing a hummingbird who has a shade of red that matches the bird feeder. Duck on the rise. 24 points. The duck blur and the water patterns are excellent, but the dark space above the subject doesn't really add anything to the photo. It could benefit from cropping out the top a little bit. Flight systems check, 21 points. A very good job of wing blurring. The stalks on the right distract a bit. Uh, could probably benefit to take them out in Photoshop. You could also crop off a little bit near the top where the water is less interesting. The bottom water has a nice ripple patterns and a reflection. Fire Maple, 28 points. First in regular, David Lindsay. The lights and darks in, in this very successful blur add a lot of movement to the drama of the red leaves. Dance at Bougival Renoir, 23 points. A nice idea to blur the skirts and pants to give a sense of movement but not that strong an impact. Just another rainy day, 
22 points. It's a nice sense of movement through the falling rain, but it would help if the outside scene had a hair more definition somehow. The car almost does, but it takes some effort to figure the rest out. Hummingbird, 19 points. It's a nice job of wing blur, but the feeder is so overwhelming that it overpowers the bird. Flow, 24 points. Third and advanced, John Mathis. The patterns of water are very pleasing, but the strength of the blur confuses as to what surface you're seeing. The log on the left is a little too indistinct to help with the composition. Magnolia Twilight, 15 points. The background on this is very nicely blurred, but the foreground is so dark that it loses interest. The middle silhouette of a plant coming up would be better if it, were, if it weren't right in the middle. Aaron the Juggler, 25 points. The blur works to show the action and concentration of the juggler. However, the blur on the lower right hand is confusing because it is a little too blurred to know what action the hand is doing. I would also remove the black object below the right arm as it's distracting. Go fast, 27 points, second and regular, David Lindsay. It's a very nice combination of blurred and sharp, which enhances the theme of the boy watching the moving cars. I would, however, delete the two white dots in the upper right hand corner as they distract you and your eye is pulled to them. Temporal Blooms, 25 points, tied for second in advanced, John Mathis. It's a lovely blur of fireworks, especially the large white one. It could use some cropping on the side to get rid of the red lines on the left, which don't really add to the picture. You're still here? There's no after meeting stuff. No, just, just go home. Hey, I think everything's going to be all right. <laughs>